Hi, today we're going to look at a repair on a Cloud9. Right. First of all, I mean, the way you get into them is very similar to a GHD. You need to remove the hinge covers, which again, now comes in very handy. Oh, security sticker. Let's right, give us some lead lamp to play with. Right. Let's just open crack this myth. Good, it wasn't as tight as a normal GHD. Uh, I seem to have misplaced my other blue screwdriver. So I'm a bit unmatched. Right. Take the covers. Take the two covers off. Hmm. And we're in. Right, let's uh what's the meter? I will use my fluke today, normally I use my bench meter, but that's not in the picture, so I'm not. Right. Let's get down here. Okay, hopefully that will reduce the reflection. Right. Okay, uh, that looks alright, got 69, this side, nope, 1.2 meg, so yeah we have an issue here, uh, with the Cloud9 there's actually a heat fuse in each side, which is actually uh, a safer, better way of doing it, if you're going to be using heat fuses, uh, I don't know. terminals are screwed, Exactly the same as a GHD. To be honest, probably made in the same factory. Uh, that I don't know. But it would not surprise me. Right, so I know my problem is in here. And very similar to the GHD. If you slide all this away. There's a heater, or a plate. There's a heater. Is that a crack up for it? Hmm. It does look like a crack, but it doesn't feel like one. I will check this out. Because uh, to be honest, it's probably the thermal fuse. So what I do need to do is I need to get into the connection up here to test whether it's the heater or the thermal fuse, or both. Oh, come on. Okay, we're at the junction here. Let's test the heater. We got 70 ohms on the heater. That's good. The heater's fine. That's not a crack, wherever it be. It's obviously a mark. So our problem 
is the thermal fuse. Okay, so I'm going to pause the video, get a thermal fuse. Hi everyone, I'm back. Well, I found one. Uh, I'm actually going to use a 240 degree C one as uh, this particular iron can go above 200. Unlike the GHDs. Uh, it's been an old fuse, so I don't use that many. And it's been running around, so what I'm going to do to start off with. I'm going to add some crimps. Basic crimp. Which I may be able to prize open. Uh, come on, there. She's gone. And need to do the same the other side. Insulation back. Yeah, good. Gotcha. Right, that's junk. Wait a minute. Crimpers. Right. Okay. Good. Re-insulate that. How it was. Now capped on tape. Which is lovely if you're in this field and you ain't got any caps on tape, get some. It's beautiful. very sticky it's very heat proof and it's a very good insulator comes in different whips get in there all right get back again Okay. 
Now we can reconstruct. Let's get the plate. But the plate up with some thermal paste. I'm using HY410. But whatever you use, it, I mean, that, that truss is up to yourself. You obviously need something that's good for 250, 300 degrees C. Where's my spatula? Yeah. Don't need much really, just really enough to cover the inconsistencies of a plate really, but I really like it a bit more because it almost gives it some lubricant to slide like it's doing there. Right. The actual fuse up to the foot is there, so it's quite hard to bend now. <laughs> That's the back, that's the front. Get in there. She's over. back in Absolute loads of spare, aren't they? But there is on that side as well, so. No different. Okay. We should be good. So we should now have what have we got the seventy this side. Still not working. What the These things are sent to try us. It's not quite right. Thank you out. Probably broke it there when I bent it or something stupid.
Uh, yeah, I did. Crikey. Cocked up a bit there. Not to worry. Good part is, I think the thermal fuse is still usable. Soon find out. Looks at okay. Right, let's recrim this. I don't mind making it a little smaller. Because uh, I know I've got plenty of slack I can play with. Right, let's get some crimps on these. On you. Fiddly things. Okay, dokie. I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bend my in a minute too far yet. Yeah, let's have a look. Let that whip wire go. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Oh, we didn't. This one onto here. Try and feed the this one through here. Success. Right, I'm going to do the bend there. the insulation on that one but it's not going to make any difference because I'm going to uh, fold that and catch on tape that as it is <coughs> love, love where is my cat on tape Disorganized. Oh, 
past that. Still nicely greased. Let's get that on there. Actually, it's fairly loose. Tighten it a bit. Mm -hmm. These clips actually seem a lot better. I think seem cheaper, but I think it gives it better coverage over the heater than GHD models. Right, up, yeah. Uh, less to grab onto. Okay, that looks better. Let's put the saddle fuse there. Oh, that's a hundred percent better. Saddle, yep. That side, that side. Meter's turned out. Let's get a meter. We successful this time. Yeah, we was. Second time, lucky. Right, and there's still plenty of cable. Ideal. Where did I put the screws? Typical, can't find a screw. There it is. I heard it. <coughs> right, can okay, you? Okay, right. Meter check. What we got? 71. 70. Yeah, hey, you're looking good. Swell drain looks alright. Cables looking reasonably good. Got a good feel down through this. Uh, I don't have any nicks on that. Just check the plug. Heath Robinson, I don't know that. It's in the right hole, but what the hell? Crikey. Would have worked fine, but just don't like the look of it. Actually, I don't like the look of both. Gonna remake the plug as well. Ah. Back 
Come on. Sure. the screws let me worry about the cable <coughs> Better, still not brilliant, but it's a very cheap, nasty plug actually. Uh, five amp, yeah, that do. Three or five is generally what you find in these. So at least not thirteen. So. I see on off switch. Let's put this cover on so I can play with the up down buttons. If there's any other faults, let's fire it up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Going for the lower setting. Which is supposed to be it. I can't read it. 100. Is it? No, 100. Let's go for Right, the unit seems to be working. I'm just going to let that stabilise and do some adjustment. So, well, that's what's inside a Cloud9. Uh, I must admit, most of the faults I've ever come across is just one of the thermal fuses gone. I don't know if they're a bit cheap or something and die, or if people run them too hot. Uh, and I think I set that. I can't bloody. I can't see. I think I set that to 150. So it's creeping up. So, good job done. Many thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.